Let's talk about moving around in your Peachtree software. Peachtree software offers both pull-down menus and navigation aids at the bottom. The pull-down menus are up here across the top. And these are traditional menus that you're used to seeing in things like Microsoft Office applications like Microsoft Word. Now I want to briefly cover these menus. The file menu, this is where you do a lot of the file functions such as opening a company and backing up. Under the edit menu we have some features similar to what you have in Microsoft Word. Cut, copy, paste, etc. We can also find transactions here which is a very powerful feature within Peachtree. Maintain is where we maintain our databases. In Peachtree and in any accounting software there are certain databases that are very important to the accounting application. These are customers, vendors, employees, chart of accounts, inventory items, and jobs. The tasks menu is where we'll perform all of our Peachtree tasks. Notice that this tasks menu is broken down and divided up based on accounting functions. This top section here, this is all of our accounts receivable and revenue. The next section is accounts payable and expenses. Here is payroll and time. General ledger and inventory. Here's where we reconcile our bank account. The next menu is where we can do some analysis of our business. The options pull down menu is where we can set some operating options of Peachtree. And here's where we can generate financial reports. If we've added any services on to our Peachtree, such as, such as Peachtree Web Accounting, this is where we come. The window pull down menu allows us to have multiple things open at one time and move between those, such as we may have invoicing, time and billing, and financial reports open all at the same time. This allows us to move between those two windows. And finally, the help pull down menu. The help features within Peachtree have become very strong, and we'll be covering this in detail in a later section. Down here are the navigation aids. The navigation aids are great because they show the logical order that we need to do things. Common errors occur within Peachtree when things are done out of order. So if we look at the sales section, we can see here's where we maintain our customers, sales reps, and our sales tax authorities and tax codes. Once we have these set up, then we can move forward to preparing quotes, sales orders, invoicing customers, and collecting receipts. And then over here we can generate reports. All the navigation aids for each of the sections work this way. Here's purchases. For new users of Peachtree, we recommend using the navigation aids. They help you to follow the logical flow for your accounting transactions. A couple other things we want to cover with maneuvering through Peachtree is some of the settings. Let's look at the options pull down menu and let's come down to global. Here we can set our decimal entry to automatic or manual so that we enter a dollar when we enter a dollar number including cents, we can have Peachtree automatically enter the number or we can manually enter the decimal place. Under automatic, if we entered a number such as $100.29, we would not have to enter the decimal point. We would just enter 10029. Peachtree would automatically put the decimal place two places over. Manual, we would want to enter 100 dot two nine. Peachtree looks to this field when you're when you have this set to automatic to see where to put the decimal. Certain industries carry their decimal place out up to five spaces. 
down here we can hide general ledger accounts. This is going to be something we cover later. The other thing we want to show you is under the general tab, smart data entry. When we're in a field typing in data, here is where automatic field completion. So right when we start typing, Peachtree recognizes what we're typing and completes the field for us. This is a very good feature. And then anytime we're in a field where there's a drop-down list and we begin typing in that field, the drop-down list will automatically appear. 